site, neighbors in Maynard can't help but worry after police discovered homemade bombs on doorsteps. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Concord tonight with some new information about a man now under arrest. Louisa? Well, Lisa, William O'Neill stood before a judge here today, and what's possibly most disturbing about this case is that police say where those explosive device devices were placed appears to be random, and the motive is unclear. Kevin versus William O'Neill. 51-year-old William O'Neill now held without bail. Police say his fingerprints were found on a homemade bomb left in front of this Maynard home Monday. Cops claim he also admitted to building this device found in Maynard and detonated by a state police bomb squad last October. The second one was slightly more sophisticated, but they were extremely similar. It looks like it was wrapped in something, and it almost looks like it, it's something that's installed in the ground and just shines up. Richard Shea saw the latest one, described as a propane tank with wires coming from it late Sunday night during a walk on DeMar Street with his dog. He only learned he was in danger the next day when cops swarmed the area. Uh, not a hoax um, device, so I had the potential to um, detonate. I, I could never imagine things like that happening here. The news terrifying for mom Heather Hunt, who says the neighborhood is full of kids. It's frightening to think that he could stumble upon something Thing and, and get really hurt. Maynard police say they've had past run ins with O'Neill, a Weston Town employee, but he's never faced charges until now. This time, the question is why? We don't have a motive at this point. Um, it, it did seem random. Now, O'Neill is the cemetery supervisor for the town of Weston. He's worked for the town for 32 years. Tonight, the town manager says she is concerned by these allegations, but confident in the police investigation, and she'll take action when it's complete. Live in Concord, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.